I can imagine the frustration as far as Peter is concerned on being asked the same question thrice. And that too, one after the other, not over intervals of say, weeks or months or years. But there was a point in why Jesus was trying to find out whether Peter really loved him or not. And it was simple. Because it was not merely for Peter to say, yes, I love you, not just spoken words. But coming with that was a mission that was being entrusted. Namely, feed my sheep. And Peter would go on to become the first pope, being given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, perhaps if I had to ask you that same question, do you love Jesus? Very spontaneously and perhaps instantly the answer would be, yes, I love the Lord. But with it comes something more. There is a duty, a responsibility, a mission that accompanies that statement. And so it's not sufficient to just in words say, yes, I love Jesus. But more importantly, it is by our actions. I believe what Jesus is inviting us to in today's gospel is love in action. If we truly love Jesus, then we will first of all love ourselves the way God has created us. And I know for so many people, it is so difficult to accept us just the way we are. Because we always want to be someone else or like someone else. And more importantly, if we love Jesus, the invitation then for us is to love one another as God loved us. Perhaps even more difficult. Count the number of enemies we have. Count the number of people we cannot get along with. Count the number of people who from within there is so much of hatred towards. And yet Jesus says, if you love me, feed my sheep, tend and look after my lambs. In other words, love people just as I have loved you. Not impossible, my dear brothers and sisters, though difficult it may seem. But yet if we truly love Jesus, then we will be able to love others the way we love Jesus. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.